Alrighty guys, welcome back to some XCOM 2. We are clearing some alien debris, we've got a sharpshooter training coming up in a few days, and we're also researching Gauss weapons as well. Um, did we get around to actually building any weapons? Apparently we can't. Maybe we got around to building them all. Maybe that's what happened. We probably could have happened. saved a lot of time um, repairing the ship. So if I go to if the armory, we will be able how to, to translate their language. Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists out here, Commander. Okay, yeah. So we just don't have that one, but we have the specialist one. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. So I think we'll just head to the bridge and the geoscape and see what's going down. Okay, so we seem to be at the black market, so... Did we sell everything we wanted to sell? Doesn't look like we have a lot to sell. <laughs> uh, buy. Auto order. Okay, we don't really have the intel to do that, so... I think we've done everything we want to do there. We... Should probably go make contact. In West Asia. Although I'm gonna hit this supply drop off, I think. Yeah. Avenger plotting new we'll hit this up first, see what happens with that. Okay. Okay, the Avatar project is advancing by looks of it. Commander, we've received word oh, no. that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar project. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region, we can make a move on that facility and destroy it to set back the aliens' operation. Okay. That seems pretty far away, though. How are we gonna get all the way over there? Um, I suppose it's one, two, three, four jumps. But still quite a way away. Anyway, let's continue scanning here. Alien debris is clear. Let's view the room. Um, what did we want to pick up? So we're getting proving ground there. Power relay. Do we want to get resistance comms? Or do we want to rush the uh, advanced warfare center? That has a lot of monthly upkeep. Advanced Warfare Center. Once the AWC is built, soldiers may gain a, ba a bonus ability outside of their current class whenever they are promoted. In addition, an engineer can be stuffed. Okay. I'm gonna rush that, just because we don't need a resistance comms to get to the first black site. I don't think. Because we still have two out of three contacts. If we go over there and make contact, that'll be our third contact. And that's where the black site is. Okay. New stuff available. Let's ignore that. Or should we go check it out? Uh, let's see the battle intel there. So we may as well go and see what's at the uh, resistance headquarters. Welcome, Commander. Okay, nothing, nothing important at all. So we'll just gain some intel whilst we're here. Okay, we've got a sharpshooter. So, is there any more rookies we need to train? There is one. So, what do we want to train them as? I think we lost a couple of soldiers last episode, didn't we? Uh, we have bunch of grenadiers. Could probably do with another specialist. I mean we have two two rangers, two sharpshooters. Let's go with another specialist. They are important. Hey, um, they help pack uh, objectives from a bit further away. So we wanted a specialist. Okay. So again, we'll just keep on scanning for intel until anything comes up. Okay, here we go. 
Yeah, right next door. Uh, counters dark event, advent rural checkpoints decreases. The next, okay, so we should get a better drop. It's a moderate mission, so we'll see how that pans out for us. Uh, let's make any items available. Is there anything we can build that may help us? Uh, let's build a battle scanner because they're good. Let's build a smoke grenade as well. Whether we actually use any of these, God knows. Right. We have some weapon mods, and I'm not sure if we are actually deploying them. I love your hair. I think it's wise for you to have a battle scanner. Uh, you have a weapon mod, by what is it? Yeah, you have a scope. That's fine. You can get a weapon upgrade. Increased aim? Yeah, sure. That's better than nothing. Uh, you'll load out though, you'll take a grenade launcher. You'll take a frag grenade and probably a flashbang. I think that's better to have um, long range. Basically, new customization options, very nice. Okay, you got the stock. You, yeah, you're using the shard gun with the stock, that's fine. You have the art blade, and you'll take a I think smoke grenade wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, well, can our, can our specialists take medkits on something? No. So you will take a smoke grenade. And then... Probably just have the two grenades on you. I uh, don't think there's any weapon upgrades left, unfortunately. Nope. And then... You will take the medkit. Okay. So launch. Okay. Let's see how this one goes for us then. Last mission wasn't very uh very good, was it? Apparently the resistance has been relying on an old data tap along the advent network that had, up until this point, been eluding the alien's detection. Recent intel suggests the data the resistance found is critical to the alien's latest operation. Unfortunately, advent is already moving to take out the device, and we can't let that happen. Eliminate all hostile contacts and secure the area. Protect that device at all costs. Okay. Pretty simple. Just wipe out all the aliens. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. Okay, it's quite a way away. But we don't have a turn time with this. Why would you get seen oh, seen jump through window, I see. You have terrible movement from the get go. Alright, let's move someone a bit closer. Take them to the edge, see what we see. I think that's a brave start. Yeah. So we may as well just dash everyone up to uh, to the front. I'm gonna drop you down here. Time. Don't see anything either. It's fine. You start pushing the order. wide angle. Just to provide a bit of a flank. And you head down the center. Okay. So everyone who can can overwatch. Right. This unit will drop down. Moving to position. See what you can see down there. Probably nothing. 
a good burger in years. Thanks for that information. Um, so your dove move up. Moving out. I think that's fine. Okay. You'll take a risky move up here, but if we pop anything, our oh, sharpshooter will get vision, so we should be okay there. Okay, still fine. Got a bit of a way to go yet, but I would have expected to see something by now. Roger that. Okay. This may pop something. No. Got a group of hostiles over ah, here. yes. Okay, we haven't popped which is nice. We can still plan an ambush for next turn, so we can move our units into much better cover. So we'll move up here, I think. Um, and then we'll drop our ranger down as well. He has vision there, so we don't want to get too close. We'll just drop back here. <coughs> Right. Okay. Apparently we do not have a shot with this unit. We do with this and it is a massive plank. I think we'll take the first shot with that unit and overwatch with the rest if we can get them into a good position. You come there. If I spin my camera around. You'll have a shot there. If you don't know what that means, if you you see as I'm moving around, you see the little um, indicators here to the left of the health bar. If I move here, you'll see that I have two shots, a shot on both units. Uh, if I move here, I have a shot on one because of line of sight blocking this unit here. So it's a good, interesting Understood. Moving out. way of figuring out where you'll have shots. So you'll see I have two shots now. It's very nice. I didn't know that at first because I'm pretty sure you don't get taught it. Which is uh, slightly irritating. I think you're just going to overwatch there. You don't have a shot either. Maybe we'll uh, drop back here. No, you won't have a shot from there. Hmm. Maybe we'll just stay here and hope they come towards us. So I think we'll just... Overwatch with everyone over there. And then we'll land a ball or frag in there if we can. Hit both of them. Trigger the pod. Hopefully they start running somewhere, because they'll try and run into cover. Nice. And then trigger the overwatches. Yep. Okay, sectoid's down. So is the trooper. Nice. Could be something on this one. So you'll see I had a mod employed there. Um, it basically just says the hit chances of pulling off that shot. So it's interesting to see, especially with overwatch shots. Right, so now we could really do with... Uh, moving up. However, I don't really want to take a double move into uh, Fog of War. Affirmative. Moving out. Because we don't have a uh, emission timer other than the HP of this, which is ridiculously high. We should be okay. So, I'm going to move you through the building. No, because there's no decent cover. Okay, you double move All there. Right. It should be safe. Anything in that general vicinity should have popped. Here. Okay. Didn't know we'd get vision into the next building. So that's my bad completely. But it's only a couple of uh, troopers. Trooper, officer, officer. No, trooper, stung lancer, officer, sorry. Any blue move you can take where you'd have a shot. No, unfortunately. Okay, we can get you... I think we'll start heading you onto the roof. Ah, oh, it's the wrong unit completely. I thought that was my uh, sharpshooter. Oh well. You you can drop down through that window in a sec. You're not going to have a shot 
anytime soon. We do have a shot. Do we take that? That's not bad odds. I'm going to take that. Mm, unfortunate, but hey, 48% chance. You win some, you lose some. I think you're just best on Overwatch. Most of these guys have terrible movement. I'm going. Overwatch. Alright, we'll see if they come towards us. Nope. Okay, that's still the juiciest target for him, which is nice. He's going to trigger an Overwatch for the building. Which did manage to hit on 49% chance, which is crazy. And the other Overwatch. Nice. Take out a wall while you're at it. Okay. So there's only uh, the officer left, I believe, which is very nice. Right, can you... you can't pick up that in a single turn. It's crazy. Okay, so... I don't really want to just stand in no cover. But you don't really have anywhere good to go. If you go there, you might have a shot. And this could technically be the last unit. It probably won't be. But it could be. I don't think he's going to come out, so... I think we'll take the shot. That was incredibly lucky. Okay, that's not the last one. Which is good to know. Alright. You, you you come here. Closing on target position now. That should be fine. And overwatch there. I feel like there'd be over this way somewhere if anywhere. I'm gonna go okay. there. We're near the objective. Menace one five, we've got a line on the target. Move to protect that gear at all costs. Okay, you have watch. On overwatch. What's this? Oh, uh, you're shaken. I see. Get you up on the roof. You're not going to be in cover, but you should be fine. Double move up to this doorway. You haven't had much uh, sword action in this. Not, not really the best uh, phrases, but I'm sure you understand what I mean. Right. I think I'm gonna try deploy our battle scanner here. If we can. Apparently you have two battle scanners, which I wasn't made aware of. But the only place I can imagine there'd be is over here somewhere, so... Stick it over there, see what we discover. Absolutely nothing, apparently. So we must be on this side. Hmm, interesting. Hey, we'll push up. If we're at the objective, we can uh, they, they'll come to us, I imagine. Because it's also their objectives. Right, I may get flanked from this angle here, but should be okay. Okay. I'm on it. Right, yeah. Got some advent here. Kinda what I expected. Okay, two misses, but one did one damage due to our stock. I think we go for Stung Lancer. You have a good chance to get, actually get the kill. And he still didn't manage to get the kill. <laughs> Alright. 
You only have a shot on Sun Lancer. Um, if you move there, you still have a shot on Sun Lancer. There, apparently, you do. Oh, there, you have two shots. Moving the designated coordinates. I'm not sure how that works. Okay. I'm gonna go for the trooper. It's probably a bad idea, but yeah, it was quite a bad idea. Okay. I'm out of firepower over here. So apparently our sniper doesn't have a single shot. Why is that? But if you move, uh, if you drop down, you will. Okay. You are flanked, so no matter what, you need to move. What's over there? What's that? Don't close the door. It is possible you could get the kill on the sectoid. I'm gonna try that. Nice. Ten damage. Very nice. My ammo's running low. Alright, you pop Put down here. You'll take a pistol shot at the stun monster if we have one. And that should be the kill. What? That's crazy. Alright. Go for the kill. Nice. Okay. Anyone left to fire? No. Okay. That's fine. We are flanked now, At but he did manage to miss, which is very nice. Had a good chance as well. Right, who do we want to give the kill? I still think our sniper is probably the best one for it. Let's take a pistol shot. Very nice. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Very nice indeed. Not bad. 71% successful shots. One enemy killed per turn. Very nice. Damage per attack is 5.64 as well. That'll be, that'll be down to the uh, everyone having a gun. Well, pretty much everyone having a new gun. Very nice. Quite an easy mission, considering it was moderate. Think, don't think anyone got injured. We were shot at, yeah, but I don't think we were injured. We really put a hurt on the aliens this time, Commander. Nice. They won't forget it. Okay. Our sharpshooter will definitely go with lightning hands, although I cannot click it for some reason. Okay, we'll skip that then. We'll uh, we'll do it in the armory. We'll go for suppression. I find that a lot better. This is like quite a lot of damage on the uh, the old mech, and I never really used it that much. So we'll definitely go for suppression. It's very very good. Okay, so you're meant to be our combat hacker, but I I don't use. But I've already missed out on medical. Okay. Well, oh, advance down this tree then. There's not a lot else we can do. And can I promote you yet? No. Okay. So we've got a few artifacts. Nothing. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Thank you very much. Hey, you recovered from having a good mission. Right, so yeah, if we go here and here, we should be able to promote you now. So we want lightning hands. Yes. Uh, that means the every time we can fire our pistol without taking an action. But I think it's got a cooldown of like two turns or something. But it's it's very good. 
Very, very good. Right, let's hit the bridge. We've still got a bit of time left on this episode. So, we have a chance to get a scientist, which is very nice. I think we'll go for that. I don't see all much Avengers else going on. We'll hit this up, and if nothing else comes up, we'll head to a black market. But. I am sure you will find the okay, we've got Gauss weapons, very nice. So we can now do the mag cannon and the Gauss rifle, which is the magnetic sniper and the, uh, the cannon. Okay, there's some radios, three days, pointed armor is nice, but we don't really have the scientists. Although we should be picking up the scientists soon. I'm gonna go with faceless first. No. Yeah, let's go with faceless. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. Hopefully. Okay, so that's going the up. Aliens have considerable resources at their disposal, but we... Commander, we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Yeah, I know. Another alien to be cleared. So we can't build anything here yet, which is unfortunate. Um, I imagine the best thing to do then is continue to clear. We've got three engineers. Okay. Guess there's some uh, excess supplies. Let's head back to the bridge. Proving, proving grounds are ready, Commander. Okay. <laughs> proving grounds are now ready. Okay. The proving grounds, Commander. It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts, especially when it comes to weapons development. Okay. I know we're meant to build the Skulljack, but it's going to take a while. I actually want to try out experimental ammo. I'll have the team get started immediately, Commander. Um, I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. Because this could be useful. I've I've seen uh, I've seen s some slight information about it, so the outcome of this research could, can only could help further us. our advances. Command. Okay, we've got the mimic beacon. How the, aliens could of the mimic beacon being. generates a holographic decoy to draw enemy attacks for one turn. It is deployed like a grenade thrown to the site where the decoy will another construct of okay, alien very good. Tampering. Let's go for resistance radio. It's only going to take three days. Valuable applications stemming from this technology should help us out as well. As soon as okay, let's see if we can pick up the scientist. Not yet. We have a soldier that has been trained. There we go. We got a scientist. Very nice. Okay. So let's head to the black market. We have a bit of intel, so we may be able to pick something up. Okay. Let's uh, see what's available to buy first. 60 intel for that. Definitely worth it. Uh, I don't think we really need anything else. Is there anything we can sell for anything? Uh, no, it's not really worth it as far as I can see. Okay. Right. Let's make contact Setting with West Asia. For sector 15, West Asia. I have made a number of interesting okay. discoveries, Commander. Radio relay is available. Okay, that's that's all it's going to tell me. Uh, right. Now we can get plated armor a bit quicker, so I'm going to head on to that. priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Okay. Let's see if we can make contact Based here. Based on my research in collaboration with Shen, 
I believe we can reduce the intel costs of contacting additional regions by building radio relay towers along our network. The further a region is from a relay, the more it will cost us in intel. So I would suggest building relays along the remote edges of our existing network. I believe the Resistance will be grateful for the construction of these relays. They may reward us in kind. Okay, so we can build relays, but I think we may have to get these continent bonuses. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll continue making contact here. Warfare center now operational. Oh, nice. Okay, another boring cutscene there. So we can have one engineer here to increase healing rate. Retrain soldiers abilities. I'm not really sure what that means, but okay. I'm not sure on that. Apparently we have a low income, but I don't think it's that low. Uh, we have an engineer available, so we may as well put them in here to help with the healing route. How many units do we have out of action? No, no one for a change, which is very nice. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, make contact here before ending the episode. Is that going to be the Avatar project? It is. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress okay. Only, on the only one uh, tile, We're which is bad. Slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Yeah, well, I know. Yeah, let's get this hooked up. Oh, are you serious? Okay. Well, we've got a retaliation site. I'm going to end this episode here, and then we'll come back and do the next one. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, as always, take care.